All right, so let me just go ahead and be honest here. After watching this video, your Shopify dashboard is about to look a little something like this. Hold up, wait a minute. What is going on YouTube fam? It's your boy Yash. Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new, then welcome to it. So lucky for you, over the past few days, I went ahead, did my product research, validation, and due diligence, and gathered five potential winning products for y'all to start selling on your Shopify dropshipping store from the month of August and onwards. Now, if you guys know anything about me, I never leave you guys hanging, right? I mean, ever. So with each product, I'm also going to be providing the following. Knowledge. The approximate cost price, the selling price or markup of that product, the type of store or stores that product would work well on, the gender or genders to target on paid advertising platforms. Speaking of paid advertising platforms and social media in general, I'm also going to be recommending to start selling that specific product on TikTok or Facebook first, or maybe both depending on the fit of the product. And last but not least, I'll also be recommending the type of ad creative or creatives that would work well for that specific product. So without any further ado, ladies and gents, let's hop into my computer and take a look at these winning dropshipping products. Now I have something super, super exciting for you guys to join. If you have already not joined my free Discord group, Dark Commerce, I definitely recommend to join. This group is absolutely value filled with beginners, intermediates, and advanced players in the e-commerce, dropshipping, and digital marketing game. Like I said, it's completely free to join. So definitely check it out. Link will be in the description down below and I'll see you at the table. The first product that we have on our list today are the reusable water balloons. Now we have about a month or two at least left of summer of warm weather weather and these absolutely make the perfect toy, the perfect game, the perfect source for entertainment for families and kids as well. We all know that, you know, usually when you throw water balloons, you know, they're a one-time use, right? The balloons pop. Well, when it comes to this product, you can actually go ahead and reuse them. Let me go ahead and show y'all the video so you can see in terms of how they better work. So Again, they basically, you know, fill up with water and then they basically clip on together and they're super, super soft material as well. So it doesn't hurt when they actually impact someone's body or whatnot. So again, these are super cool, uh, great for the outdoors and great for summer as well. You can go ahead and offer bundles or even different options such as 10 pieces, 20 pieces, 30 pieces, 50 pieces, and even a hundred pieces as well. Now these definitely have that high perceived value because they're reusable, right? So definitely saves a lot of energy and money as well when it comes to buying traditional water balloons for example so depending on the variant or the quantity the cost price is anywhere between $14 and 71 cents to $139 and 73 cents now you can definitely sell it for two to three X more that price per unit you know you can even go ahead and make bundles and increase your AOV and other verts average order value if you're wondering the type of store to sell this product on successfully I definitely recommend a micro branded one product store you'll also see that the next four products can also be sold on a micro branded one product store. Now, if you're curious on what this type of store really is, how to structure it, how to build it, click on the video on the top right and it should take you to it. But anyway, if you do want to go niche or general niche, you can have a store around toys, games, or even summer products as well, which would be a seasonal store in that case. For genders, this is pretty much a gender biased product, right? A mom or dad or any adult can buy this for themselves themselves or their little ones so we can target both male and female now if you're wondering you know Yash is it better to start on TikTok on Facebook I definitely recommend TikTok organic plus TikTok ads as well I think this would make a great viral product on that platform now when it comes to ad creative types we would definitely need a video ad to show people how this product exactly works you know maybe people throwing around the water balloons showcasing the end result uh, you know showcasing the features 
the benefits in terms of how it's reusable. So we would definitely need a video ad, like I said, with a corresponding thumbnail. Now I always say we don't want to put all our eggs and bets into one creative or one thumbnail. So definitely consider split testing. So for example, you can have something like video one, thumbnail one, video two, thumbnail one. Or you can have something like video one, thumbnail one, video two, thumbnail one. The second product is a cool little quirky product that I saw about two sellers selling. So there's definitely a lot of potential, but that is the magnetic duck. So basically the bill um, of the duck or the goose, there are two different variants as y'all can see, very, very similar. Um, I don't know what really differentiates them, but Bruh. anyway, um, you know, this basically is a magnetic duck bill. So you can go ahead and attach uh, keys and different accessories and just anything that you really want to on the duck bill. So, um, you know, I think it really makes a great home product, a great office gadget and stuff like that to keep things in place, to keep things organized. You know, you can come up with the angle um, saying like, hey, you know, don't forget your most important pair of keys or this or that. And you can kind of go ahead with that angle and sell this very, very successfully. So the cost price, depending if it's the duck or the goose, it's $5.20 so $7.99. Can definitely sell it for three to four X more. Maybe you can even incorporate something like volume and discounted pricing. My guessing is people might want to buy multiple of these little ducks and gooses to put around their house. You know, maybe one in the living room, one in the family room, one by their entrance, one in their office, one in their bedroom. So, you know, an app like volume and discounted pricing can definitely help you increase your AOV, your average order value, like I was talking talking to you about before so people can buy multiple and as a result you know you can bank in more money for store type y'all already know a micro branded one product store would work well within niche stores I would say somewhere within home decor or gadgets for gender not gender biased anyone can buy something like this I would probably buy something like this to be honest it's super cool and super unique has a great wow factor attached towards it so you know male and female for sure when it comes to platform or advertising strategy for this I I would definitely utilize and start with Facebook ads first, just because I think you can target better on that platform specifically for this product. Ad creative types, you may be thinking images, but honestly, you wanna showcase on how the duck bill or the goose bill is magnetic, right? Actually someone, you know, hanging their keys on the bill itself. So definitely a video ad with the corresponding thumbnail, split testing either or would work absolutely amazing. Next, we have the mini umbrella phone stand. Now this is a great wow factor product, great impulsive buy. Um, I actually saw this on TikTok just about a few weeks ago. Ago, relatively new product you can see that this specific supplier has over 10,000 pieces available that's how you know it's definitely gonna skyrocket very soon but basically it's a phone stand a phone holder for your phone and it comes with the umbrella on top so you know people can clearly see outdoors when they're on the beach or just in any outdoor environments in general you know basically stops the glare from coming on your screen even when they're walking you know people can just put this little umbrella stand on so I think it's super nice you know it comes in different patterns and different designs to uh, give people options as well so I think um, that is really really cool so both male and females can buy something like this I personally love 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 this design uh, overall very cool product and definitely new newer on the market than most products. I think the margins are always great when it comes to tech accessories. So the mini umbrella phone stand is between $5 and 58 cents to $8 and nine cents, depending on the pattern and design. We can definitely sell it or mark it up for three to four X more. Now for something like this, you can go ahead and really make yours. So I really implore and recommend a micro brand one product store for something like this. I think it would work amazing. When it comes to niche stores, somewhere within tech accessories or gadgets would work super well. Male and female, just like I said, can buy this product. So there's your targeting. Now, when it comes to platform or, st or strategy, you can really go ahead and utilize all three different types, right? You can utilize TikTok organic and TikTok ads and also Facebook ads as well. I say TikTok because I think it has that virality in terms of nature attached towards it. And Facebook ads, because you can really go ahead and micro target 
um, or laser target, I would say, you know, people with phones, people with iPhones, Android, so on and so forth. So I think both platforms would work really well for a product like this. Now, if you already did not guess, you would need a video ad with a corresponding thumbnail for something like this, split testing either or actually showcasing how this phone stand works, how it's unique, someone putting it on, you know, actually being in a warm or sunny environment, not just warm environment. Bro, what are you talking about, man? Um, and, you know, really showcasing the benefits and the end result of the product. This racing car wind spinner is also really, really cool. People can go ahead and put this in their backyards, their front porch, back porch, their patios. It's super cool, but it's basically like a windmill, right? So, you know, when it's windy, you'll basically go ahead and spin around. Um, it is a 3D uh, racing car on it as well, which is super, super cool, I think. And it also comes in three different styles and variants as y'all can see, so you can go ahead and give people options, or better yet, even bundle two or three of them to increase your AOE. Because when it comes to products like this, honestly, a lot of people wanna put you know them together or them in separate places of their homes. Margins are fairly good on this, if you ask me, $6.24 to buy per unit, and three to five X more when it comes to selling price or markup. Store type, a Branko branded one product store, of course. When it comes to niche, you can have a store you know, amongst car zones, if that's something that interests you. Um, I'm a big, big, big car head, <laughs> just FYI. Anyway, that or home decor or maybe even gardening, maybe a seasonal store around gardening or something like that. Male and female can buy something like this. I think even though more men would buy something like this due to the nature of the product, you know, a lot of wives and women in general can buy something like this for um, themselves if they're interested into racing and cars and stuff like that, or even just windmills for uh, looks and shows and stuff like that, but better yet, they can even buy it for their husbands or spouses or their male figures or partners in their lives. Now, um, again, I think for this, you can target better and you should target more specific. This isn't that much of a mass targetable or approachable product. So I think Facebook ads would work absolutely amazing. Something like this accompanied by a video ad with a corresponding thumbnail, actually, you know, the racing car spinning and showcasing in terms of how it works to really sell the main point of this product. Last but not least, we have the monkey compression toy. Now I actually saw this store on TikTok who ran up to 500,000 followers, I think over 500,000 followers organically. Damn! Quirky, cool products like this work super, super well on TikTok. This is more of a newer product. I've maybe seen one person successfully running ads for this product. Could even be that same person or that same store um, that is selling it on TikTok. But basically, it's like a, a plush toy, a fidget toy. You know, it's stretchable. When you go ahead and throw it or plop it on the ground, you know, it'll basically splatter. Uh, you can go ahead and see some of the videos on that TikTok account that I did pop up earlier. So. So, you know, it's really just a passion product, you know, used for leisure and for entertainment, um, or it could be even a problem solving product. You know, maybe you can incorporate that in your offer or better yet, your angle, um, how it helps people from anxiety and depression and stuff like that, ADHD maybe. Again, this can very much be a fidget toy. As you can see in the title itself, it even says, you know, stress relief. So that is one of the angles that can be definitely successfully utilized. Okay, let me try that again. That is definitely an angle that can be successfully utilized when selling and marketing this product. The cost price is $6.40 for the monkey compression toy. Can definitely sell it for three to four X more. I think a one product store would work amazing just how, you know, that competitor is through TikTok. And niche, you know, somewhere within toys, fidget toys can work absolutely well. For genders, male and female, I guess some of the products in today's list are really gender biased. You know, you may have one demographic, one gender, buying more than the other, but that is, you know, for your data analytics, your ads to go ahead and tell you. So you can definitely further narrow down later on down the line. But anyway, uh, when it comes to platform, like I mentioned, TikTok organic, TikTok ads would work amazing just because of the virality of the product. Um, and, you know, it's really for anyone. You know, I think a lot of people between the ages of 15 and 30, 15 and 25 would buy something like this. It's super fun, like I said. So um, TikTok would definitely be your best route, whether you go organic first, 
first or advertising next or even both at the same time that's even better and uh, again for this you would definitely need a video ad to really show people on how it can be compressed I mean maybe someone playing around with the toy uh, throwing it from like the third or fourth story to show how it gets compressed and whatnot so again we would definitely need a video to properly sell this product and there you guys have it those are the five products I recommend to start selling on your Shopify store as soon as possible if you guys do have any questions thoughts or concerns feel free to drop them in the comments down below as I do reply to each and every single one of them furthermore feel free to check out all the links and resources in the description down below as they can and will be very helpful for your Shopify dropshipping store other than that thank you guys so much for tuning in until the next one your boy is out peace